everyone, welcome back to the family of three. Yep, we're here in Mochueka at the moment, um, and we're going to be making our way across to Nelson a bit later on, um, and then maybe even a little bit of a scenic boat cruise this evening. So at the moment though, we're sitting outside the smoking barrel. Yeah. Yep, there's mm -hmm. a little eatery place here in Mochueka. Um, it's quite famous for its donuts. <laughs> They do quite a few unique flavours. Yes, they do, yeah. yeah. Real sort of, I think there's cheeseburger and various other ones, but we're going to see what we can find. But yeah, apparently selling about 600 donuts a day. So yeah, it's quite a little sort of thing for this area. So mm. yeah, we'll go and check them out and then carry on with the day and show you as we go. Okay, so we went a little bit crazy at the donut shop and we brought every single flavour that they have. So we've got 10 donuts to sh try out. <laughs> yep, there's two warm ones, so yep. they'll heat it up for us, so we'll be eating them first. And, and those then... are both savoury ones. So one's actually a cheeseburger flavour. So we'll show you all the donuts and then at the end we'll let you know what we think of them. So we have the cheeseburger. And there's something that we're not too sure on, but it looks yummy, because especially because it's got bacon. So our second one is a bacon and egg. It's got the egg and everything inside, as well as some sauces and the bacon on top. So this one looks delicious as well. Snickers cheesecake, mallow puff, Biscoff bomb. Now this one I think is maybe the boysenberry dark chocolate. This one is Vietnamese cream brulee. This one is the banoffee fresh cream. Now I think this might be the double chocolate ring not a hundred percent sure and then this one hmm I have no idea it doesn't say on the naming <laughs> so I don't know what that one is okay so we've tried five of the donuts out of the ten so we tried the two savory first yep I think so far I think the the unanimous thing is the cheeseburger one's mm. very good. It's really unique and unusual and it tastes fabulous. My second favourite is the banoffee pie, so I'm always a, a sucker for sort of banana and that sort of thing. So Yeah, and my second favourite is the biscoffee, um, I think it's just called um, biscoffee donut, I'm not sure that it's full name. But that would be my second favourite one. But yeah, we'll pass you over to Mass and then she'll let you know what her favourites are. So we've eaten half the donuts, but we're having a bit of a break from eating them because there's so many and we're going to be heading into the Nelson markets now. But my favourite one was the Biscoff donut. It was so good and I just love Biscoff. So it's kind of obvious that it's my favourite. I knew it was going to be my favourite no matter what. But the cheeseburger was also really good, lots of flavour, and they were so delicious. So we've made our way into the Nelson Township. Um, we've had a little bit of a look around the shops and around their market, and it's been quite interesting, nice little town centre. Yeah, and next we're going to sort of wake it, make our way through some of the classic sites in Nelson. There's some monuments we want to go check out. And then later this afternoon, we're going to go on a, a cruise around the Abel Tasman yep. and check out the like af the split apple rock. So yeah. that should be fun as well. Yeah, so that should be interesting. So yeah, we'll make our way on back to the car and head on off to the monuments. Okay, we've made our way to the Founders Heritage Park and we're just about to go in and have a look all around. Yep, now we stumbled across this one while we were driving along um, on our way to the Centre of New Zealand Monument. So yeah, we'll see what we can find. It looks quite interesting from the outside. So yeah, we'll head on in. So it looks quite cool in here. There's even a train ride you can go on and it's basically got all these different areas you go around and there's little shops, there's even food in here and lots of gorgeous buildings to look at and there's even behind me I think you can see it there is a windmill but we're going to head over to the train shortly because it goes every hour 
But yeah, ticket prices are $10 per adult and $5 for a child. So it's nice and reasonably priced. But yeah, it looks really gorgeous. So we're looking forward to exploring it. So we've just jumped on the train. It's an additional, I think it must be $5 an adult and $3 for a child. But it's about half an hour journey and they give you a little commentary as you head along. So you get to find out some interesting little bits and pieces. But yeah, the little village that we've walked through, we obviously haven't looked around it yet, but we will after the train ride. Looks quite interesting and quite cool, and nicely done. So yeah, looking forward to having a bit of a look around there. So we've just finished off on the train. It was a little journey, but nonetheless quite interesting. Um, so we're just going to make our way around. Um, we're starting at the far end of the sort of facilities here and going to work our way back to the start, having a bit of a look around. So there's obviously a huge variety of stuff here to look at. It's it's really a cool place on a lovely morning like this to have a bit of a look around. Um, there is a cafe here as well if you're wanting to grab a bite to eat and lots of information on all the different bits and pieces that you can look at. There's a radio station that runs from here. It's got the cool little church in the schoolhouse. So as I say, we've really enjoyed our morning here. Uh, just checking it all out and having a look around. It was a good little find, not something we we planned on going to but yeah this is the church here as well so yeah really cool just nice nice morning to relax and chill out a bit so we finished up at the founders park yeah it was lots of fun there did you enjoy it Madison? yes I did. Yeah, it was a good little surprise. We'd stumbled across that one. Yeah, no, we've had a good little time looking around Nelson. Um, interesting little place, but I think from here we're probably going to make our way back towards Mochueka and over to where we're taking our evening boat cruise as well. Yeah, it should be lots of fun. We're going all around there. We're going to see the Split Apple Rock, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah, and we'll be able to see some of the Abel Tasman Park as well as we go around the edge of it. So not doing any walks or anything in the area so it'd be good to be able to check out some of it just from a distance as well yeah and then as the day's been going on we've been trying all the different flavors of donuts hmm. and they've been very good we're very full but, <laughs> very <laughs> i i personally think maybe the cheeseburger one was my favorite my favorite definitely was the cheeseburger one and then we tried a sour watermelon one and i love oh, that one too sour, too bitter for me <laughs> yeah. but, but yeah, no, they're all very nice. I definitely recommend checking that place out if you do come to yeah. Nelson. You've got to get there early by the sound of it to, yeah, to get the donuts. Yeah, there was queues forming once we were leaving, so they're obviously very popular. Yeah, but no, we'll carry on. We'll make our way over and just see see what we come across before we get to the boat cruise. So we've arrived here in Kaiteri Terry. Um, we're about to board our Abel Tasman Wilson's boat cruise, um, but they're just getting a few things ready before we hop on. But yeah, beautiful day for it. The beach is absolutely packed. Um, looks like everyone from around the area comes to the beach sort of on a sunny day so yeah we'll take you on board soon and show you some of the sights along the way and yeah hopefully it's a nice little tour and then maybe dinner or something afterwards. So Wilson's Cruise only do this cruise over the peak couple of months of the year when there's lots of tourists around. They do other cruises um, at all year round where they drop off and pick up people from the different bays and everything that are doing the Abel Tasman walk. But yeah, this one's uh, really unique as they, it's only over the summer when all the tourists are in town. But yeah, you get to see things like the Split Apple Rock, which we're looking at here, and just go around the various bays, looking at all the wonderful things as you go. So. Yeah, really, really recommend coming on this one. It's lots of fun and lots to see. So we're here at the midpoint. Um, we're just picking up a few people. It's been a nice journey so far. A little bit windy up top, but it actually <laughs> cool, cools you down from the amount of heat in the day. So um, looks like we're just about finished loading. So we're going to continue on. On the way back, we also stop in or like go drop, past, go past one of the islands so yeah we get to see the seals hopefully hopefully yep and as you can see from some of the shots beautiful clear water and nice golden beaches so really really nice area in the in the reserve here 
but yeah we'll carry on looks like we're backing on out so it's probably going to get noisy with the engine so we'll check in with you again soon finished our cruise it was lots of fun my favorite part was seeing the seals I love seals so much uh, we've had a really fun day here in Nelson but we're gonna end it here so can you please like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next time bye